Greetings, middle schoolers. The video you're about to watch has major implications for the rest of your lives. So give it your attention. Sit up, listen up. Eliminate distractions by turning off your cell phone or other electronic device. The student representatives will have valuable information that will help you choose your courses for high school and beyond. Remember, failure to plan is planning to fail. And with that, I will direct your attention to the first student representative. Hi, my name is Sophia Blunt and I currently attend Danville Middle School. Next year I'll be a freshman at Davenport High School. But now is the time to start thinking about what I want to do after I graduate and maybe what career I might be interested in. And whether you're going to be a wolf, a cougar, a ranger, or a hawk, your journey begins, well, today. With the help of our counselors and administrators, we can get a jump start on our plans. Over the next few months, they will give us a roadmap that will help us achieve the goals of becoming well, whatever we want to be when we finish high school. Hi, my name is Natalie McCoy and I am a junior at Canyon Lake High School. As a part of this roadmap, you will be meeting with your counselor at your high school to discuss your PGP or personal graduation plan. You can use this PGP as your guide to achieving your goals when you graduate. It will take the guesswork out of which courses you need to choose to enter your career field preparation. This custom plan, built for you, gives you the advantage by enrolling you in appropriate preparatory courses that you will need when you enter college, vocational school, or the workforce. This also helps you avoid taking classes that you do not need so you can focus on your post high school goals. When you build your PGP, there are five areas of study that you will choose from. These are called endorsements. Arts and Humanities, Business and Industry, Public Service, Science, Technology, Engineering and Math, or STEM, and multidisciplinary. Once you choose an endorsement, you will then choose a career pathway with real-world, hands-on learning that takes your textbook learning into real-world experience. Let's take a brief look at each category. Hello, my name is Lisa Motley. I'm an artist and an educator. I love to draw, and I find it very rewarding to see my creations come to life. To focus on a career in the arts, a student would want to explore the visual arts pathway that is one of many pathways under the Arts and Humanities endorsement. Other pathways within the Arts and Humanities endorsement are music, world languages, dance, visual arts, and literary studies. With these pathways, you could become a college professor, an archaeologist, a reporter, a dance teacher, or even a museum curator. If you love art and education, then choosing art and humanities is the right direction for you. My name is Paul Zars and I build custom pools. I'm also one of the hosts of the television show Pool Kings on the DIY Network. I love working with families to help them both design and build their dream backyards. I also like working with all of our team members in a first class business in Texas. If a student wanted to work in construction, they might want to explore the architecture and construction pathway under the business and industry endorsement. Other pathways in business and industry include computer programming, web development, ag, mechanics, and welding. Even video game design, automotive technology, and many more are part of this endorsement. It's a lot of hard work, but if someone wanted to be their own boss or support a company with their expertise, they could look into a career path within the business industry endorsement. I'm Deputy Arlene Patterson, and I have made law enforcement my career choice. I always knew I wanted to help people and engage my community. Being a Deputy Sheriff has given me that opportunity to do so. If a student wants to be part of law enforcement, they can choose law, public safety, corrections, and security pathway as part of the public service endorsement. There, they can specialize in coursework to become a firefighter, teacher, a therapist, a member of our 
armed forces, or even a criminal detective. If directly helping people is important to someone, they may want to choose a career path in the public service endorsement. I'm Dr. Matt Bayless, and I'm a dentist. I use science and technology every day to enhance my patient's smiles. If you're a student and you like to use technology and solve problems, then you need to explore the STEM endorsement. Other careers in the STEM endorsement include environmental science, mechanical and biological engineering, robotics, biomedical science, game and app development, and even earth and space science. If you would enjoy a challenging and technical career, then you need to look at the amazing opportunities with the STEM endorsement. That's just a brief overview of the kinds of choices you can make entering your high school. And here's the best part. You can change your mind if you truly find another path you would like to take. You should take the time now to choose your path wisely based on your interests, personality traits, and personal and financial goals. So, do your homework and find the path that best suits you today. Your first two years will be basically covering general graduation requirements. Your final two years will be specializing in your career fields and gaining hands-on experience. I know that graduation day from Candy Lake High School seems so far away, but ask any senior right now and they'll tell you that the four years you spend preparing for the rest of your future goes by in the blink of an eye. So research careers on the internet and talk to adults with jobs you might find interesting. But start thinking now. So when you meet with your counselor, you'll be ready to put together your personal graduation plan. Good luck.